hi once again today we have a mercedes-benz 2020 cla 250 in our shop let me show you what is wrong with this beautiful car so as you can see the car is pink coolant all over the workshop it was stored in yesterday night because of overheating so stay tuned we'll be getting into more interesting details as to what we find about this car hopefully and i know we will fix it together so let's go and get it done yeah there's a lot of bad news a lot of bad news for this customer uh the one you are seeing over there does the water pump which is beneath the table charger there so the pull is broken off the shaft is broken i don't know whether this usually happens but this is my first time of seeing a mercedes-benz pump uh, broken like this wow this is really crazy so we definitely need to get a replacement then we'll see what happens as to whether the overheating will be sold set out or not so let's start with the work and let's go but there's a disclaimer don't do this work when the car just uh, come to your shop you want to replace the water you will fry your ha your whole hands because the place this thing is located is very very hot imagine the exhaust imagine the table charger down there imagine hot coolant so be advised so a couple of shells and tools and other things removed we are almost there but it's going to take some time and we definitely have to remove the engine seat because without the engine seat remover the belt how to fix the serpentine time belt for this car is crazy so you definitely need to remove the uh the engine mount or engine seat however you prefer to call it so the engine seat or mount for this car is a very big piece holding this engine down there so we have to take the reservoir off first or the coolant tank off first then you remove uh, the engine seat after that then you'll be able to remove the belt because the belt was spoiled in the process so it's going to take some time to really get this uh coolant pump out I will not bother you with all those uh, unnecessary steps. So finally and successfully, the coolant pump is out. You can see. Wow, this is really, really engineering. But it's not easy. Where it is, then it is very hard for any common technician to remove it. So this is what happened. You see the bearing is spot over there. Then the shaft is broken. I don't know how this happened, but this is really something I've not seen before. So if you have seen something like this before, please leave your comments in the box below. So let's see what, what happened and how you resolve yours. So the pump is out and we'll be looking for a replacement. We have already called a couple of suppliers and we get some just trying to communicate to the customer to see the pricing whether he will be willing to buy it but i know he he just have to do this if not this guy is here and he will not move again so this is where the coolant pump or the water pump lives it lives under the exhaust so you have to take the table charger off first take a lot of horses a lot of horses then take a lot of heat shields that are covering the exhaust and the table together you have to even disconnect some oil lines that's going to the table and some other little little coolant lines with the customer's consent we had our new one it's already bolted he agreed he's going to pay for that price and we have received the part too on time then we have already mounted it we got the new belt too it's already fitted so with the belt you need a t55 or t60 so i used t55 but i realized that it was a little bit not the accurate side but it, it, it get the work done so if you get t55 a tox bit with a 10 uh ring because this place uh the your normal tox keys will not be able to go there so you need a 10 combination or 10 ring that will be able to hold the bits you are going to use so now we are just coupling the table charger 
to the exhaust. So first you wear the clamp. If you get someone to hold it for you, that will be much more easy. So the person will just hold it, open it for you. You couple the table charger inside, then you will screw it to clamp it. Always remember the table is having a, a key. There's a little key. Or what would I call it a alignment pin or alignment DAO. So with that setup, after coupling the table, we will go ahead to couple the table lines. That's the oil and some other lines that are coming to the table. And if you have any socket, it is the right time for you to plug it in. I even forgot to show you the part number of the new one that we just purchased. So I'll be showing it to you in a couple of seconds. Let me get it closer to myself first. So this is the old one, the broken one. And this is the package in which the new one comes in. So that's the that's still the old one. So let me show you the part number. Uh, this is the part number 270 200 and something yeah that's the part number water pump written on it so we got this one from a company called f r e y free yes I, I don't know i've not used any part from them but i believe this should be good so you have to swap this metal other uh hose to the plastic one that the car has original there's supposed to be an additional small little hose that's going to the coolant reservoir but this one doesn't have it so we have to swap that one out that was the only difference that we noticed if not everything worked perfectly the same so we're almost done with the work we are now connecting the intake hoses i told you there are a lot of hoses here so the intake hoses will be connected then we get the vacuum lines to connected and other sockets and oxygen sensor cables that we remove that one too will be connected don't forget there's a little sensor at that table side behind the intake line so this one just couples to the air cleaner and the other side goes to the table charger so that's my oxygen sensor that is in so this one to use another vacuum line another one the one with a spring that is going to the table charger I think that that's the table charger, the uh, high pressure side. This one all have vacuum lines. It's held down by T30 screws that we will put on later. So we don't want to plug it in. So we have to screw it to hold it in place. When that is done, then we have to put the engine mounts and uh, some other necessary things yeah. you have to do. So we are almost done we just left the heat shells to monitor the oil lines 
for the table charger these things can really give you a tough time when you remove them then you fix them back they are trying to leak on on you i don't know what why it always happens so so our new belt is on the water pump to have been replaced coolant have been bled and the engine is running for about 10 minutes now so we will actually let it run for about 20 to 30 minutes for the coolant to circulate the whole system so these cars because of their complex cooling system you have to allow it to idle by itself for the coolant to go into each and every hose so i'm monitoring the temperature to see if we are having any overheating as that was the major problem why the car came in but i think it was only the water pump that caused it or we can not just come to conclusion yet until we don't have any other issues after fixing the water pump we might also have some fan issues and some radiator or some other leakages but i think for now so far so good there's no headache anywhere so in case you don't know this is the car repair hub once again consider smashing the subscription button and we see you in another one don't always forget to leave your comment if you have any question we will come straight and answer it for you within less than 24 hours